We are underneath the hood of a 1967 Chevy Chevelle. This is a true SS car, a 138 code car, no BS. Not only that, it has power steering, power disc brakes, factory air conditioning. Has a lot of amenities to it, a lot of add-ons. Has a big four-pass aluminum radiator aftermarket with a um, clutch fan on it, still seven blade. New alternator, new water pump. You can see the engine's been out and completely refreshed. Instead of having just a plain old quadrajet carburetor on this thing and a cast iron intake manifold, this particular car has a Corvette setup, a 400 horse tri-power setup. Uh, these carburetors flow 1050 CFMs. Uh, it's the oval port, not the uh, uh, rectangular port uh, set of heads that are on this. So it basically would be the same as a uh, 400 horse uh, uh, top end on this vehicle. All new belts on it, all new hoses. Uh, the um, heat is still hooked up to the uh, passenger compartment in this particular vehicle. does have the correct Chevy valve pan covers on it. New uh, stainless steel brake lines from what I can see, new master cylinder, has the uh, standard cast iron Chevy exhaust manifolds for their hypo engine still intact on the car. Brand new battery, uh, I don't see anything out of line. The original washer bottle still intact on it. The original uh, air conditioning condenser still in the front of it also, and not marked up or dinged up or anything. The um, uh, radiator core support doesn't appear to have ever been disrupted or hurt in any way so this car's never been in any trouble. Uh, it has conventional distributor in it. It does not have an electronic ignition from what I can see. It does have a, a rebuilt distributor though. It has a new vacuum diaphragm on it. Uh, a set of um, Corvette braided stainless uh, plug wires on it. The engine compartment in this thing is just as clean and nice as you'd ever want to find. It definitely has the uh, correct semi-flat black fender panels, the uh, inner fender uh, wells on this vehicle. It has the uh, foam insulation still installed on the hood right underneath. Um, I don't see anything on this car at all under the engine compartment that uh, uh, is out of place. Everything is where it should be and everything is leak free. No leaks on the uh, top of this engine at all. We'll take a look underneath it once we get there. but. Uh, there's absolutely nothing in this engine compartment that's uh, out of place. It is a big block Chevy. I don't know the configuration of it yet. We'll have to track it down. It's pretty difficult uh, uh, to determine sometimes what these engines are because they do offer so many configurations and displacement. But we know at least it started life as a 396. Whether that's what it still is or not, I don't really know. But it started life at least at a 396. Again, you've got steering brakes and factory air in this guy. A leak-free motor, a tri-power setup, the rectangular, uh, triangular uh, air cleaner off of a uh, Corvette installed on it. Fantastic looking engine compartment. I drove the car and it runs just like it looks too. Fantastic vehicle, making some serious horsepower and tons of torque. So let's do the outside, see what we can show you there. Hi, you're Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And today on the floor, our special guest, and one of my favorite cars of all time, is a 67 SS Chevelle. This car is a fantastic color combination. I drove the car. Absolutely a dream. Let's go over it and see what we can show you. Hood fitment is really nice on the car. You can see that there's about an eighth of an inch gap the whole way around. Let's go over here. And a little bit of a misalignment. This guy needs to come up just a hair. So we have to fix that stopper there to bring it up just a hair. Again, you can see the alignment is really, really good. Where most of these uh, Ball's hood chrome uh, inserts are corroded or have patina pits in them. Uh, these do not. These are just as they were when they left the factory. Really great condition. The paint on the car is really nice. It is um, much better than the driver quality paint job. You know, fantastic finish on it. Great looking car. The anodized aluminum around the top and around the grill just as sweet and nice as you'd ever want to find. There's no uh, deterioration or corrosion SS de designation on the front because that's what it is. Uh, headlight basils, this section here is all nice where usually this black is starting to come off. This is nice on both sides. Bumper fitment, right on the money. You'll not fit one any better than that. That really looks good. Filler panel, 
nice and red just the way that it should be. Uh, marker lights, uh, amber in this case, just really a nice set of uh, lights in it, nice and clear yet. The chrome on the bumper is absolutely flawless. There's no marks or scuffs or anything on the chrome finish on the top of it. It does have the optional bumper guards in the front. Uh, really great looking car, a good finish on it, nice alignment other than that one little tweak we have to do. Um, bumper alignment is fine. The grill itself is just absolutely exemplary. Uh, where most of them are starting to deteriorate through age, this guy is not. It's just as though it was new yet. Let's go down the side and see what we can find there for you. Okay, driver's side of our little 67 Super Sport Chevelle. Corvette Flags, SS396 designation. That's what this guy started life as. Fender lip moldings. Real nice and tight finish. Really, really nice. Check this out. The uh, A pillar to the cowl, to the hood, to the fender, to the door. You can't find anything fit any better than that. That is just absolutely as nice as you could possibly ask one to fit. <coughs> Tinted glass in the front. Sun uh, shade or fade on top. Uh, correct wiper arms. So the blades should be shiny. They're uh, argent, but um, error, kind of error correct, but not exactly what belongs on it. Where the uh, dashboard transitions onto the uh, base of the windshield, nice and clean and clear, just the way it should be. No cracks or marks or deviations or anything on the uh, padded dash that's in the vehicle. Chrome around the wing area, just as nice as you ever, ever want to find. Uh, trim around the window itself. Absolutely no dingies or marks whatsoever. And also the glass is nice and clean too. A little tiny bit of a mark here from a windshield wiper through the years. Other than that, you can hardly see it. You need to get a little reflection to, to pick it up. Tinted glass on the sides also. Look at this. Obviously it has a black vinyl top. Uh, there's no no raised portions or no bubbles in it anywhere. Drip rail, again, no marks whatsoever. <clears throat> Window wipes, whiskers, nice tight fitment where the stainless goes on to the uh, uh, finished uh, door on the outside. Absolutely nothing out of line there. Resilient rubber yet around the uh, uh, wing area. Driver's side mirror with the correct bow tie designation on it so you know it's an original equipment style mirror. Paint on this door and, and fitment is just gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to call them original. There's a tiny, little tiny bit of patina on it, but I'm going to call them original door handles and they do not need to re be replaced. Absolutely not. Original equipment style, real thin uh, stainless door guards on this vehicle too. And again, look at the door fitment to the quarter panel. You do not find it any better than that. Check this out. We always do this out with the windows up so you can see how the front window meets the uh, back glass on it. And look, that will not get any better than that. Also, nice resilient rubber seal on top. So the rubbers have been replaced on this car also. Same thing on this uh, wheel lift. No dents, no marks. Nice fitment up tight against the body the way it should be. Trim going back around the uh, vinyl top with these sail panels on it. The uh, rear hatch, or rear hatch, rear hat rack uh, appears to be the original equipment hat rack that came with this car. It has a couple of aftermarket speakers installed in it, but it is uh, apparently the original uh, hat rack. It does have a little bit of sun. Uh, fade, but very, not very much. You certainly wouldn't replace it. Trim around the back light the same way as on the front, just absolutely flawless. Nice solid tin, no mud. Super Sport designation on the back. Whole side of this car is just as nice as you'd ever want to find. I can't believe how good the door fits on this side of the car. I hope the other one's that way. This one's absolutely precise. You can't uh, get a better fitting door on a vehicle than that is. The fitment of the hood, the, uh, the uh, fenders, the hood, the, the, or the uh, cowl area, uh, rocker panel area. There's no marks on the uh, rocker panel molding whatsoever for someone's heels through the years kicking it either. 
little wider tires and wheels on this guy. They look to be about 8-inch uh, Corvette rallies on it uh, with the short hat uh, centers off of the 67. Nice, real deep look to them. BFG radials, white letter, gives it a nice pop. Nice look inside of the car. Let's see when you find out back. Okay, the back section of our Super Sport 67 uh, uh, Chevelle. Again, look at the uh, rear deck on this thing. Look how it fits. Just as precise as you'd ever want to have. I mean, absolutely precision. Again, the paint on this car is just as sweet and nice as can be. I haven't found any chips or marks or deviations whatsoever in the finish or in the metal itself. I don't see any uh, anything where there's even been a dent, a door dent or anything on the side of the vehicle. Around the rear window section where most of them are starting to deteriorate some, this one is not. This is just the way it was when it was new. Could not be a better fit than that. Power antenna, how about, how about that? Must have an aftermarket radio and it's got a power antenna in it. Uh, Semi-flat black through the center section and the rear, just the way it should be, SS396 designation. Um, the uh, tail lights on these are absolutely like they were when they were new. Usually these are all deteriorated through age. This is not. This is just as sweet as it was when it was new in 1967. Again, bumper guards in the back to match the ones in the front. Pretty high option car when you think about it. It's got air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, tinted glass all around. Um, bumper guards front, bumper guards rear. You know how much more you can get on one of these guys. Bumper fitment in the back is just like it was in the front too. Absolute precise. You won't like it any better than that. Nice clear backup light lenses. You can see they're nice and crystal clear and white. Um, chrome on the back bumper is just the way it was on the front. There's absolutely no marks or scuffs or absolutely nothing on it. There's absolutely nothing so far other than one little tiny tweak on that hood uh, on the uh, stopper on it. That's it. Uh, there's no marks in the paint. Still haven't found a stone chip. Got one more side to go though. Let's try it. Okay, passenger side. Let's see what we can find here. Super Sport designation again on the back. Tin. No bond though. Nice sharp edges on it. Again, trim around the uh, sail panel here on the uh, black vinyl top, as nice as you'd ever want to find. Back window, stainless trim the same way. Wheel lip molding. This is the third one now, and I still can't get my thumbnail between the body and the um, wheel lip molding. Precise fit, very, very nice. Again, no bubbles in the top, no separation whatsoever in the vinyl. Just as nice and tight a fit as you could possibly have. No dents in the uh, stainless drip rail. Wipes whiskers, just as sweet as you'd ever want to find. Again, fitment on them. Same way as the other side. Not going to get any better than that. Door fitment again. Look at this. Totally, totally amazing. Original door handle on this side again. Tinted glass. Look at the fitment of the glass against the uh, uh, rear light, rear quarter light. Another bow tie mirror on this side. Got to have that. Passenger side mirror. Amazing. Look at this. I'm totally amazed. This car, the fit on this car is totally. You can't believe how everything lines up the way it's supposed to. Look at this. If you close your eyes, you can't, you can't even feel a deviation. You, you, it feels like one piece of metal the whole way around it. Again, on top here. Same deal. No marks on the stainless there either. This is our last, last wheel nut molding. Let's see what we have here. Look at that. Still can't get my fingernail in there. That's this 396 designation. Back up where we started again. Wow, this thing's really nice. This thing's really nice. 67 Chevelle, a real 138 code Super Sport. This is not a 136 Malibu that somebody made look like a Super Sport. This guy started life as a big block Chevy in 1967. 
finish of this car, I went around it, you watched me do it, there's not one single deviation on any of the panels. Uh, the paint on it is just exemplary. It's twice as good as anything that ever came from Chevy in 1967. Uh, the fit, the finish, the uh, um, vehicle doesn't have any dents, door dings, absolutely nothing down the sides of it or on the top of it. It's as nice a fit car uh, as you'll ever find. Aesthetically, this car is, I don't know how you get any better than this. you got a red car, a black interior, tinted glass, black vinyl top, rally wheels that everybody wants, a uh, set of BFGs on it, white letter. You got a car that has power steering, power brakes, and factory air conditioning. And not only that, you got the addition of a Corvette tri power setup on top of that. So you got a real dramatic engine compartment whenever you open a hood. It just doesn't have a little single carburetor with a 14-inch air cleaner on it. This guy got a triangular-shaped Corvette air cleaner on it. And the first thing is someone looks at, oh, Corvette motor. Uh, it is definitely a big block. I don't know the configuration. Um, Again, fit and finish on these cars is just fantastic. A 67 Chevelle is the most sought after of any of the years. The 70s are very popular and everyone goes for a 70. 66s are very, very close, but 67 is the Chevelle to own. And it is a 138 code car, there's no mistaking that. It started life as a super sport. It's a big block now. It's a four speed car. And this car is just exemplary in every way. You really need to take a look at your Hangster's website and uh, take a look at the vehicle. Uh, Devin's going to take some good uh, uh, high resolution photos for you so you'll be able to determine exactly what you see underneath the car, interior wise, engine compartment, and the exterior. Uh, we encourage everybody to come down and look at these cars. You know, it's great to meet the people that are going to buy them, go over the cars together. I'd be more than happy to show you this car and take it out and run the wheels off of it for you. But it's a great car, uh, fantastic condition. And you'll not find another one like this. Take a look at it, Hangster's Daytona Beach. Well, we're inside of our 1967 Chevelle SS138 code four-speed car. Again, you know, I said from the outside, the dashboard is really, really nice on this car. Uh, sun visor still, all the stitching is nice and tight on it. Tight as a drum. Dome lights still functioning. Um, back seat, the front seats are just as nice as you'd ever want to have and they are the original equipment style seats they're just not a plain old reupholstered seat this is the original equipment style if it isn't original even I don't even I can't really tell it looks so good um, material that's on it um, armrests in the back trash trays in the back how about that the old trash tray era um, seat belts also in the rear of this car and seat belts in the front and they're also latched on to the uh, correct console holders uh, in the front. The um, um, console itself, the, the chrome on it is just as sweet and nice as can be. Uh, you're not going to find any one that's much nicer than that. It does have a glove box in the center here. Um, loop style carpeting just the way it should be. Trim around the uh, uh, clutch brake, gas and parking brake uh, uh, pedals with uh, disc brake designation on the uh, uh, brake pedal. Rear view mirror itself is just as sweet as can be. There's no milkiness whatsoever. And it's a day night mirror too, how about that? So far I haven't seen anything that this car does not have, really. Uh, it has the tri-spoke split uh, Corvette style, wood style steering wheel in the car. And check this out, how about a tilt wheel? Knee knocker tack in it. Full instrumentation also, it does have the full factory instrumentation. The chrome, the trim on this dashboard is just as it was in 1967. Just as clean and crisp as can possibly be. The um, uh, radio is an aftermarket GM style radio, so they didn't hack anything up and put a Mickey Mouse radio in it. This is the General Motors style radio that does fit in the uh, enclosure that uh, GM supplied for the radio. Um, the air conditioning vents, uh, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. The chrome on them is really, really nice. Uh, front door panels, there's no warpage or anything whatsoever. Armrests are still the original style armrest, molded, not just covered up with vinyl. All the uh, window cranks and the uh, door opener handles are just as nice a chrome as you'd ever hope to find on one of these vehicles. Um, your uh, temperature 
heater, air conditioning controls, just as nice and clean as can possibly be. Uh, there's no deterioration whatsoever in the plastic fascia that's, uh, uh, that's behind them. Uh, all new rubbers on this car. Everything on this is, is new. Uh, the ones on the doors are nice and resilient. Uh, the ones around the top, which I felt on the outside there and mentioned it, are also new. I, I don't see a thing in this car that uh, um, isn't top shelf in every way. And this is the key to the whole operation. And check this out. Not only is it a four-speed, not only does it have a console, steering brakes and air, and a big block with a tri-power, but it has the original equipment rabbit ear shifter that came in 1967 with this car. How much better an original car could you hope to ever find than this? And one of the most desirable cars on the market, 67 Chevelle. Take a look at this guy because it's one of a kind here at Hangster's Daytona. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have, we definitely got a 67 Chevelle. Uh, let's see if horn works. Yeah, we got a horn that doesn't want to agree to work. How dare it. Tack is not working. It's knee knocker tack, but it is definitely not working. Uh, tilt steering wheel definitely works as it should. Uh, let's see what we have for... Wipers. Wipers are functioning as they should. Air conditioning. Yep, blowing cold. Came on, blowing cold just the way it should. Radio. Wow, good sounding radio. Good sounding sound system. Wow, power antenna too. Does have a power antenna right rear. Okay, gauges. Um, battery showing that it's charging. Temperature gauge is coming up as it should. Oil pressure is nice and high. Fuel is empty, which is normal for us down here. Uh, we definitely got to get some fuel in this guy. Uh, okay, other than horn and tap, I'd say everything else uh, is a go. Well, let's go for a ride, see how this guy runs. Clutch is really nice on it. Grabs right in the middle, just the way it should. It's the right pressure. It's not too excessive, not too soft. Just the way it should be for a big block Chevy. Turn signal working, just like it should. Left turn signal in the tack, working just like it should. They knock the tack. Speedometer coming up, just the way it should be. Down the road, straight as an arrow. I'm going straight. Let's try brakes, though, hands. Good brakes. Nice running car. is a little wacky. We're going to have to get that checked. <clears throat> nice tight running car though. Wow. Nice resolution on the steer bo steering box. You can see it's nice and tight every time you move the wheel and inch it moves. Tight running car. Nice tight running car. Pulls like it should, sounds like it should. Straight as an arrow. Find a nicer one than this, let me know because I can't. This is the nicest Chevelle I've driven for a long time. Great car. Well, we're underneath our 1967 Super Sport, real Super Sport, Chevelle. Um, definitely a real Super Sport. <laughs> uh, disc brakes in the front, <coughs> heavy duty sway bar also in the front of the uh, vehicle. It has a brand new, you can't see it, but Devin will have the picture of it. 
with the tag still on it. Brand new steering box in it. I'm sure it's a high resolution one too because someone that went to the extent that they did on this vehicle uh, didn't skimp on a uh, better resolution box. Uh, you can see the engine is a big block Chevy. Um, no leaks whatsoever. Absolutely none. It does have the cover on the uh, flywheel area. Uh, original equipment bell housing painted orange just the way it should be. M21 Muncie transmission. Uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds. Original equipment style starter. And it also is new. Still has the tag on it with a new solenoid. Uh, again, uh, all new belts. A uh, new fuel pump also on the front of this. You can see the uh, bottom of the uh, aluminum radiator that's also an aftermarket item. But it, it almost looks like an original equipment. But it, it is aftermarket four pass uh, high flow radiator. Um, Floor pans are just as solid and sweet as you'd ever want to find. There's no deterioration whatsoever. There's no jack marks on the uh, the C channel frame sections that usually have some marks here and there. These do not. Uh, the transitional mount uh, bracket that goes from one side of the C channel to the other for your transmission mount is just as nice and clean and finished just the way it was when it left the factory. Again, cast iron exhaust manifolds into two and a half inch. Uh, primary pipes, just the way they would have been from the factory. A uh, real nice setup on this vehicle. New U-joint, no leaks on the uh, transmission or the uh, tail shaft area also, as you can see. And um, no leaks on the bell housing area. Everything is dry underneath this vehicle, at least for the time being. Um, stainless steel brake line. Someone's gone and uh, retrofitted the uh, uh, brake line system on this with uh, stainless steel lines as opposed to the uh, mild steel ones. The uh, fuel line also has been replaced, 3 8 inch line, and it does have the uh, wire wrapping just the way the uh, factory one would have. Parking brake assembly, um, new and functional. It looks like it's new anyway. And it's definitely a functional parking brake assembly. Uh, again, the floor pans themselves are totally undisrupted, no jack marks whatsoever on them, no dents, and uh, your structural bracing that's integrated and integral with the uh, floor pans uh, is still just as nice as it was when it left the factory also. Real nice clean undercarriage on this vehicle. Uh, nice painted drive shaft. Uh, we're halfway through the car now and I don't see anything. There's actually not even any jack marks on that C-channel, which is really surprising because most of the time you do see a little bend here and there from jack stands or jacks through the ears. This one does not have that, does not show it. Um, really nice, clean, clean vehicle. Um, let's go see the other half so we can show you there. Okay, second half of our 67 Chevelle. Uh, again, two and a half inch pipes transitioning into two flow master mufflers. And I'm going to call them two and a quarter pipes out. Uh, and they come out just the way they should, right behind the rear wheels. Uh, turn it down, it's right behind the rear wheels. The um, swing arms in the back are just as nice and clean as you'd ever hope to find. <clears throat> Again, no jack marks on them through the years. It's uh, totally amazing. Looks like all the bushings have been replaced or refreshed at some point in time. Check this out. This is something I didn't know. Discs in the rear. Somebody put a disc brake system in the rear of this Chevelle. So not only does it have discs up front, but it has discs in the rear also. Talk about spending a nice amount of money to do something right. They sure did here. Uh, new shocks in the front, which I neglected to mention. Brand new shocks in the back. Also a functional parking brake for disc brakes, which is really rare to find disc brakes in the rear that have a functional parking brake. Most of the time when you find discs in the rear of a Chevy, there's no parking brake actuator for them. This guy does have them for sure. Uh, and they are evident. They're, they're there. Uh, it appears to be a, um, it's either stainless or galvanized, uh, new gas tank in the vehicle. Drop downs in the quarters, uh, just as they were when they left the factory. Nice and sharp yet, and where they transition onto the base of the uh, quarter panels, just as sweet as could possibly be. The frame section, the C channel, the transitions up over the uh, uh, rear differential, which by the way is a, guess what, 12 bolt Chevy. It doesn't get any better than that with a GM product. A good 12 bolt Chevy rear end in this thing too. Um, which would have come with a uh, 138 code car back in uh, 1967. Uh, the strapping is also new on the gas tank. Again, the, um, the C-channel sections are just as nice and clean and undisrupted. Or Again, no jack stand marks on them in the back at any point that I, could, uh, that I can see anyway. 
and a transitional piece that goes between the two C channels. No one's uh, hooked any cables or anything to it. I don't see any pull marks on it. Uh, it looks just the way it was in 1967. Uh, this thing's as nice a Chevelle underneath as you'd ever want to find. Uh, I, I don't see anything at all that's uh, out of line on it. You can see there's no leaks whatsoever evident. Absolutely nothing. Floor pans are nice and clean and crisp. All your structural bracing uh, is undisrupted. No one's put any jack stands on it through the years. Where your fender wells transition on to the inner fender well transition down to the uh, uh, rocker panels front and rear, they're just as sweet and nice as can be. There's absolutely no deterioration, no rust evident, nor has it ever shown to have any rust from what I can see. Uh, this is as nice a uh, 67 Chevelle as you're ever going to find. Uh, it's available here at Tankster, so take a look at it. This is the undercarriage we've got to drive to do yet, and then we'll see how this guy runs.